Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be showing a flip through of the Abeka Science Reader for the second grade. I'm also gonna share how we've taken this one reader and spread it out more like a unit study to be able to use it for two years instead of one. So if you're interested to see how we've done that, I invite you to keep watching. My name is Celeste. I am the homeschool mom to three boys. And this year we have a seventh grader, fifth grader, and a third grader. So this curriculum is the one that we are currently using for science for our third grader. We started it last year when he was in the second grade and now have continued with it to be able to finish it now within his third grade year. So this science reader, and I should say this up front, um, by Abeka, is really designed to be part of a bigger group of books. In this set, there is also a history book. There is a health health reader as well. And then there is an activity book that has activity sheets and different things for all three books. So it includes activities for science, for health, and for history. So kind of a four book set. And that is how Abeka has designed for it to be used. So I just want to say up front that is not how we use it. If you've seen our how we use Abeka video, you'll know that we tweak Abeka to make it work for us. And so we that's what we have done in this case. And it's working very well. We are using this reader kind of as the base for our unit study. So the way that we do science with our younger son is that we do it twice a week. So Tuesdays is lesson day, and then Thursdays is hands-on activity day. And so that has really been able to make it a lot more hands-on for him, and it has allowed us to go a little deeper into the different topics being shared. So last year we did half of the book, this year we're tackling the other half. So what I'm gonna do is flip the camera around and actually show you a complete book so you can see what information and what content is included within this reader. And I'll also share while I'm flipping through the different things that we have done to use it kind of more as a base for our unit study. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you a look inside. Okay, so this is a look inside the Enjoying God's World Science Reader. This is the fifth edition. Again, it's part of the Science and Health series by Abeka. Okay, here in the front cover, it just shows the Science and Health series um, for Abeka. On this side, it has the science as well as the health for elementary. So it covers from K-5 up to sixth grade. When you open the book, um, the first thing it has is a note to teachers and parents, giving you an overview of what they'll be learning um, throughout the year. So that's a nice little paragraph there. And then you get into the table of contents. So this book or this course is split into eight chapters. I'll refer to them as units um, because as I said, we kind of use this more as a unit study. Um, so we take each chapter like its own unit. So the, the chapters or the units are one, enjoying the creator's design, two, enjoying my body at work, three, enjoying the plant world, four, enjoying animals and their habitats, five, enjoying science investigation, six, enjoying how things work, seven, enjoying the air around us, and then finally eight, enjoying earth and space. So the way that we did it is that last year, when our son was in second grade, we did the first four um, units, which were the creator's design, the anatomy, right, the body, the plant world, as well as animals and their habitats. And then this year in third grade, we're covering science investigation, how things work, um, the air around us, and earth and space. Um, so I'm going to show you a look inside the different units and give you some ideas as far as how we used it and tailored it um, to make it more of like of a unit study. All right, so chapter one is enjoying the creative design. This is really just an overview, um, kind of an introduction, I should say, to the course. Every new unit has vocabulary words. Um, in this case, it's special, balance, important, and then a vocab word of design, which is a plan for something that is made. So something that you can um, review with your students in the beginning of each chapter. So it talks about God's special plan a perfect balance, so it's just a nice introduction. They always do have Bible verses um, throughout the, the lessons that kind of go correlate with the information being taught. More vocabulary words. 
And then there are also these do you remember sections. So as I said, this is why I didn't, I didn't get anything additional because these are actually, these questions is what I use to come up and make up tests. So at the end of every unit, I would make up my own test based on these questions. So I would kind of, you know, pick and choose a few of them um, and then come together and make my own test at the end of each unit for our son to take. So that's an idea. If you don't want to purchase the tests, you can use these do you remember sections to come up with your own. All right, so chapter two is enjoying my body at work. So we did this last year and it actually worked out so well because last year our older sons were actually going through an anatomy course. So they were studying anatomy um, and I should have looked inside that curriculum. I'll link it down below by, by Answers in Genesis, God's Design for Human Life. So as my older sons were going through their anatomy course, our younger son was able to then also join in on some of their work. He did their final project with them that he did kind of a full life model size of um, his body so again that was really fun so he was able to use this information but also using some of the additional information from our older son's curriculum we were able to add into this to this particular unit There's also these hands-on activities at the end of some of the sections, so something to try. Um, so those are fun uh, little activities. There's also some experiments within the, the curriculum that you can also use. All right, chapter three or unit three is enjoying the plant world. Again, we did this last year, talking about the parts of a plant. I also went online and got some additional information. Um, he did this, kind of there's a matching there. Sometimes we would do these questions in um, a notebook um, and then sometimes I'd, I'd let him do it right in the book. So kind of depending, but, or sometimes you'd also do it verbally. So I would do it kind of like an oral discussion. So we're talking about the different parts of the plants. This is a great time to also get outside and kind of um, look at different leaves. Um, we actually were able to get a kit from the library that had all different types of leaves, was able to trace them and do different activities. So again, it's really nice because as I said, we did this twice a week. So the first day he's able to go through the lesson on um, Tuesdays and then on Thursdays, he was able to go and do the more in-depth hands-on activity. Um, nature walks are really great. All right, chapter four, which was the last one we did last year, was enjoying animals and their habitats. This one was really fun. Um, so we ended up doing also an animal project to end the school year. So we talked about the different habitats. He actually did, um, I got some worksheets off Teachers Pay Teachers. I love that site and I recommend um, if you haven't used it, you can go on. There's a lot of affordable resources and also many free ones. I actually got a lot of great free resources. You just type in the search engine what you're looking for and put free after and a amount of amazing worksheets um, pop up that you can utilize to add in. So in the end, um, he chose an animal, a specific animal, and he created their habitat, so a 3D model. So he got a box and was able to make his animal out of clay. It was really fun, and it also served as kind of a final project. He also did a written report about the giraffe, so that was really fun. great because it talks about the different layers within the rainforest. We also took some time to do activities regarding that. All right, so chapter five is where we started this year. I feel it's great because it's almost like another introduction, just like chapter one was. So last year was much more, I would say, more like animal and life sciences. And this year, now in third grade, then we are looking more at physical sciences, introduction to those areas of science. So I think splitting it right at this point worked out and has worked out really well. So this is first, chapter five is just an introduction to the scientific method, making predictions, kind of how that works. Science tools, so we talked about the different tools. I actually found some coloring sheets that um, he was able to color 
the different science tools. Here's like a matching he did. Um, so that was pretty much unit five. So chapter six, we get into how things work. So this was great, especially for our younger son, who's very handy, loves hands-on things. So this was really great. Um, and looking at the different parts of how things work, talking about energy, force and movement, gravity. So those initial things, right? A push, magnetism, um, that really are the foundational concepts to learn for the physical sciences. So that's really, it's great that at such a young age, right? In second grade, they're starting to get exposed um, to some of these things. Work and machines. So the different types of simple machines, wheel and axis, the inclined plane, pulleys, the lever. Here we talk about the states of matter. And for this year, it's been great because um, if you saw my curriculum choices um, for our older children, we're actually studying chemistry. We're using God's design for chemistry by answers in Genesis. And so they're, they were talking about matter and a lot of these concepts. So it's great because this is also tied in to some of the things that we're talking about with um, our older sons. All right, chapter seven is the air is real, enjoying the air around us. So talking about the atmosphere, what air is made of, the weather. The water cycle. So again, this is one of the one of the things that I actually went in and um, found some additional resources, worksheets, um, and it's kind of more you know to be able to talk a little more and go a little more depth into the water cycle and each of the stages of the water cycle. So evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and talking about that. And again, the do you remember sections are there. Chapter eight is enjoying earth and space. So this unit, what I'm planning, we haven't gotten to it yet. We're going to be approaching it. But what I'm thinking to do for this final unit is to make this our final project. I love to have always a hands-on final project for the end of the year. So I'm going to be having him make a solar system model as that final project, also with a written report. So again, using this as a unit study really gives a flexibility to go a little deeper and take our time to make sure that the different topics being taught are being solidified and he's really getting a grasp on each of them. Okay, so that is a look inside the Abeka second grade science reader, again, that we've used also for our third grade year of science. Something also that our younger son does, our third grader, is that he joins his brother for all of their science um, experiments. So this year they're using chemistry. I should have looked inside that curriculum. So there's a lot of different experiments that come with that curriculum that they are, the older boys are using. So he always gets to join us in for all of those experiments. And many times we'll also sit in and listen into the lessons. So he's getting a lot of science this year which is really great does your family have any science curriculum that they enjoy things that have worked well for you if you use a becca are there certain things that you you do to tweak the curriculum to make it work for your family please comment below i'd love to hear what works well for you i pray that you and your family are well i pray you are blessed thank you so much for watching please consider subscribing so you don't miss any future videos and i look forward to talking to you soon